Hi, my name is Diane Marr. I am from Stanford University. I'm here at RWCS. I am presenting my poster. The poster is on a case of a new diagnosis of Stills disease, which presented with persistent fever and rash, and she developed a hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. The case started um, with a 50-year-old female without significant past medical history who presented with a prodrome of, of rash, arthralgias, and pharyngitis. She later developed a persistent fever and was admitted to the hospital. Subsequently, after a couple of days, she developed a persistent rash and she was diagnosed with hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis after developing uh, persistent liver enzyme elevations up to the 3000s. Um, and she had a consistent bone marrow biopsy as well as serologies with um, secondary hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. This case had several interesting points for me. One was um, that she, was, she presented with an atypical rash and that it was persistent and pruritic. The typical rash that we are taught in Stills disease is an evanescent and non-pruritic rash. Um, a, an atypical rash is more, is more um, common than, than previously thought, so this is important to recognize as it can present with a delay in diagnosis as r typical rash is a cardinal feature of Stills disease. She also presented with hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis as well as features of DIC, which are both life-threatening um, features of Stills disease. She was treated with, um, with uh, anakinra, um, post-dose decadron, as well as um, two doses of etoposide. Typical treatment for reactive hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis typically consists of treatment of the underlying disease, which for Stills disease is usually either IL-1 inhi inhibition or IL-6 inhibition. Thank you.